Every day, something dramatic happens in the Caribbean that affects our lives. We'll give you the details. We'll give you the facts on Caribbean Perspective with Eddie Fedrick. How's Eddie Fedrick? Welcome to Caribbean Perspective. So glad you can join us. The story that takes the lead in today's edition for Thursday, 1st March 2024, and brought to you in association with our friends at Antillian Group, brainstorming solutions to quell crime in the region. Details after this important message. Believe in our strength, we'll stand by you. Protection from all perils, big and small. Reassurance we give, it's so glad to see. Peace of mind, that's a service guarantee. We look after all our family. Yes, we do it. Antillian Group, underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially. Welcome back. Regional leaders are concerned about the economic and health impacts of the crime and violence in the region. A member of the Caribbean Community Implementation Agency for Crime and Security Impacts Advisory Committee, Senator Lisa Joahir, recently attended a meeting in Barbados. Gina Felipe of HTS News Force out of St. Lucia reports. The upsurging crime and violence is straining an already burdened health sector. CARICOM Impacts Advisory Committee members, Senator Lisa Jawahir and Dr. Stephen King, met with regional members in Barbados to discuss the troubling regional issue. The meeting aimed to provide tools for capturing and analyzing crime-related information. It gave us a really broader understanding of how expensive crime and violence can be. Because, of course, we have seen that the Prime Minister has allocated several resources as it relates to giving the police vehicles, giving them drones, giving them bikes, giving them vests, cameras, all sorts of equipment. All of these come at a cost. Then you have to strengthen the resources of of first responders. And, of course, the emergency rooms at the hospitals because, you know, there would be an influx um, should the, the rate of crime be increased. And so all of these things gave us some background knowledge as to what can be expected. Cycle social support to crime victims was one of the topics on the agenda. A lot of our young men have fallen victim to some of... Some of them have lost their lives to crime and violence and they've left behind a son or a daughter or a single parent uh, causing such greater strain on the family some of the young people grow up and we've seen in smaller instances and some instances that they intend to avenge the death of a parent and so the cycle continues what we are seeing is the government continues to strengthen its resources in the schools to have conversations with these young people as they are engaging in their day-to-day activities as it relates to um, fulfillment of the education. We have seen what has happened in the school so far. Some argue that greater civil society involvement can help prevent crime. Uh, What we can do at this moment is to really call on all civil society groups. Uh, We are seeing this and it affects every single one of us. It affects our communities. It's no respecter of persons. Crime is no respecter of persons. Any day it could be you, it could be me, God forbid. And we don't want it to get to that point. And so the churches, the civil society groups, those who continue to have conversations with these young men, those who continue to reach out to them, Uh, I really just want to encourage them to do so. Regional countries continue talks on solutions to curb rising violent crime. The Philip GP administration equipped the police force with vehicles, vests and CCTVs to aid their duties, hoping the measures will quell the rising crime rate. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force. Guyana's President Dr. Irfan Ali has condemned lyrics that promote violence in the region. Ali made the remarks while addressing the opening of the 46th regular meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of the Caribbean Community CARICOM, which Guyana is hosting. Gina Felipe again reports. The region has seen a sharp rise in violent crime with most victims young people. Leaders are trying to identify the root cause, attributing the troubling trend to various factors. Guyana's President Dr. Ufan Ali at the opening ceremony at the latest CARICOM summit urged countries to discourage the promotion of lyrics with negative connotations. 
And I want to make this point to all those who would have enjoyed the drumming, the lyrics of our region. We do not need lyrics that promote violence in this region. We have the ability to promote good lyrics and lyrics that will move people in the positive direction and move people to think, act, and behave positively. As leaders of this region, we have to take this situation very seriously and ensure the lyrics of the region is the lyrics of Bob Marley, the lyrics of posit positivity, and the lyrics of positive living and positive change. We must take this responsibility on today. Dr. Ali cited recent actions by some Caribbean nations to deny entry to performers with problematic histories and controversial lyrics. He urged regional leaders to reach consensus on the issue. For some, this may seem a soft issue, but this is a fundamental issue. Only recently, Prime Minister Rowley and I we're having a conversation when many young people, young, brilliant people, question the decision of not having a certain artist perform in the country because that artist is on an Interpol red list. We cannot allow our culture to be captured in this narrative. We have to lead a revolution against this narrative and reposition our culture in the way it was conceived. That is for positive living and positive upliftment. And this is not about anyone or against anyone. This is for our region and for the future of the young people in this region. In early February, Trinidadian artist Cayman Six was barred from performing in St. Kitts and Nevis due to concerns his music's violent content could disrupt public order and endanger safety. The decision followed a security assessment by local and regional authorities. While some studies do find a correlation between lyrics and antisocial behaviors, other data suggests otherwise. The data on whether music can affect behavior remains inconclusive for now. What is clear is that the overall murder and shooting rates have been increasing over time in most Caribbean countries. Experts point out that the accessibility to firearms has facilitated this rise in murders and shootings. In many countries, Gina Filippi, HDS News Force. You're listening to Caribbean Perspective with Eddie Frederick. In association with our friends at Antillian Group, underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially. <laughs> The Bank of Jamaica says it is not yet seeing local election impact on inflation linked to the 2024 local government election. TVJ Business Day has more. BOJ Governor Richard Biles and Senior Deputy Governor Dr. Wayne Robinson commented on the issue recently. Our level, we haven't seen it. And, I mean, it's, it's early days. Um, but what we have to pay close attention to um, is... Well, what is the government's own expenditure profile looking like in this election cycle? And certainly if you go by what was stabled in Parliament and what is set out in the fiscal policy paper, the government is maintaining a very tight um, fis fiscal sh fiscal ship. Um, so it's, it's still early days yet. Um, so at, at this point, we have to wait until the data comes in. Now, about 1.7 billion Jamaican dollars was budgeted for the election. Major events like elections requiring large spending in the economy can have an impact on overall price movements for a specific period. Following several days of speculation, police confirmed that legal professional Craig Tuckett, who is also the deputy leader of the People's Labour Party in St. Kitts and Nevis, has been charged for committing a serious offence. Glenn Bart of SKN Newsline has more. According to a brief press release issued by the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, 
Attorney Tuckett was charged for the offense of attempting to pervert the course of justice. The press release revealed that the offense was committed on 12 February 2024 in Bastyr and he was charged at the Bastyr police station on the 23rd February 2024. He was later released on bail. The charge attempting to pervert the course of justice refers to a situation where a person prevents justice from being served on themselves or on another party. As of 26 February, no official statement has been issued by Mr. Tuckett regarding the charge against him. One of his notable legal cases was that of a group of Haitians rescued off the east coast of St. Kitts, whom he represented with an application for asylum. Glenn Bart reporting for SKN Newsline. The Bahamas' Prime Minister Philip Davis attended 46th CARICOM meeting. More in this ZNS News item. Well, in other news this evening, Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis among regional leaders attending the 46th regular CARICOM meeting in Georgetown, Guyana. In her opening remarks, CARICOM Secretary General Dr. Carla Barnett said the matters before them will have a significant impact on the direction of the community. We can tell you that once again, Haiti's deteriorating situation has made it a key talking point with leaders determined to address the political, economic, and social turmoil following the 2021 assassination of President Jovenel Moïse. CARICOM Chair, Guyana President Dr. Mohamed Ali stresses that anything that impeded the progress of the people of Haiti is of immense concern for the leadership of the region. Discussions will also center on moving towards ending hunger and malnutrition by 2030 as the region seeks to reduce its food import bill by 25% by 2025. During the 12th annual Inter-American Development Bank Governors Meeting, President Irfan Ali of Guyana credited the Cooperative Republic's robust economic growth with expanding the oil and gas sector. HGP's Darcy Richards reports. President Irfan Ali said it is the government's vision to create a diverse economy crucial to Guyana's developmental trajectory. Our vision is to create a robust and diversified economy. And in this regard, our strong economic growth is underpinned by both expansion in the oil and gas sector, as well as the non-oil productive sectors of our economy. According to the president, fully capitalizing on the resources from the respective sectors will ensure every citizen benefit from services critical to their social and economic well-being. The prosperity that comes to every home must allow every citizen to enjoy a certain equitable level of of life in the country. Educational facilities, a new school of hospitality and management are among the initiatives currently being touted. We now a matching grant initiative with Canada to do nearshoring jobs training. We have partnership with 45 universities across the world. In the last three years, we have granted more than 27,000 scholarships. For ATP Nightly News, I am Daisy Richards. I am Eddie Frederick. This has been Caribbean Perspective, a whole new approach to highlighting developments in the Caribbean. In the meantime, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily regional news and more in association with our friends at Antillian Group. Believe in our strength, we'll stand by you. Protection from all perils, big and small. Reassurance we give, it's so glad to see. Peace of mind, that's our service guarantee. We look after all our family. Yes, we do at every opportunity. Antillian Group, underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially.